Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to do the 90 sampling trick in Ableton. Been getting a lot of comments on how the hell to do this in Ableton, so I'm going to teach you to fish. Even if you don't use Ableton, you can pretty much apply this technique to any sampler. So in Ableton, there are two samplers you can use. I'm going to show you how to do this in both simpler and sampler. First thing you want to do, let's do this with simpler first. And what we need to do is find a single note sample to drop into Simpler. So I have this B3 note that I sampled from the Korg Triton VST. Sounds like this. So we're going to simply just drag and drop from the browser into Simpler. Now, the confusion here, I think, comes with the way Bitwig does this. So in Bitwig, it actually shows all the different playheads when you play a chord uh, with a sample in its sampler. Ableton doesn't do this, but rest assured, it can trigger multiple notes or essentially a chord in here. What you're going to have to focus on is this voices area here. By default, it gets set to six, which means you can trigger up to six different versions of the sample at different pitches. So even though we just see one playhead, it is triggering six different pitches. So to illustrate again, I can hold a high note and then bring in a low note. So it's all about having the appropriate amount of voices allocated for the size of the chord that you want to play. Again, you do that with the voices here. I'd recommend just cranking that to 32 if you're playing some big, beefy, juicy, thick, solid chords. Uh, get more voices and it's going to help you also when you transition from chord to chord because you'll still get the release from your amp envelope as you transition over. So with the proper amount of voices allocated here, I can just simply play a chord. Now what I may want to do is add a good bit of release here to get a nice smooth roll off. So again, the technique is you are taking a sample of a single note, putting it into your sampler in Ableton, that is simpler here in this example, allocate enough voices of polyphony, and now you can play a chord. And again, even though visually it doesn't look like it's triggering a chord, it indeed is. Now, the other thing is I would turn off re-trigger here to get a nice smooth chord change as well. And then we can come in and grab something like loop here and we can begin to create a little bit of a loop in here, which will really help illustrate the different voices playing. So. A little bit of a crossfade, very dirty, but just to illustrate here. So I'm going to play a chord now and you're going to hear the sample being triggered at different pitches in looping through. And again, that's the technique where you get all this great different texture. Now you could even come into MIDI effects here and drop a chord device in front of that and use that to trigger your chords as well. Now you can also do this in sampler as well. So if I throw in sampler here, I'm gonna turn off the chord device. Let's go back to our sample. Let's drag that, drag that into sampler, go to filter global, and you're going to have the option for voices down here. Defaults to six, crank it up to 32 for big, fat, juicy chords, turn off re-trigger. We go back to our sample. Now we can play chords. Put a little bit of release on there. Let's go back to filter here, add a good bit of release. Whoops, I need the filter envelope, or the amp envelope, rather. I can play a chord device. Let's 
And then of course we can come in uh, and loop this up as well. Bit of a crossfade. And that's really it, folks. So again, any sampler, pretty much any sampler in any DAW can do this as long as you can increase the amount of polyphony or voices of polyphony that you can utilize in that sampler device. So you can take this technique and apply it to any device, any tool, really try to sit here and think about what's happening. And then you now have the knowledge to go do it anywhere. Hope you guys found this useful. This, I swear, is the last video I'm gonna make on this technique. Just got a bunch of questions on it in Ableton. Thought it would help out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.